Hola, soy Lupita de Gringo, la mexicana. And together we are Que Tal Kitchen. Bienvenidos. Yep, welcome. And in today's video, we are making pastel azteca. Sí, es en el episodio de hoy, como dijo Mike, es pastel azteca. So in English, that means literally Aztec cake. And this is my favorite kind of cake because it's got tortillas, cheese, chicken, and chile, chile poblanos. We're going to make chile poblanos. And we're going to make the most wonderful chile poblano cream sauce you've ever had in it. Sí, en México todo el mundo conoce pastel azteca. Esta, esta receta la hicimos de pollo y no le pusimos el maíz. Yep, and so from the, if you're from the U.S., then basically you may have tried this as an enchilada casserole, but this is going to be twice as good. It's going to be so keto friendly. Nobody's ever going to know it, and you are going to look like a champ at a holiday a potluck or when you're eating this during the week. Sí, esta, esta receta tiene 11 carbohidratos. Yep, 11 grams net. So let's stop Gavin and let's start pasteling. Vámonos. So pastel azteca basically is like making enchiladas in a casserole, except we're going to add some extra veggies like red peppers and onions, and then we're going to use the chile poblanos to make this awesome cream sauce. Así es, estos son los uh, ingredientes que ocupamos para hacer el pastel de azteca. Todo el mundo lo conoce, es súper sencillo. Cebolla y, los, y las tortillas, lo principal, etcétera, etcétera. So it's pretty straightforward. You're going to saute the red pepper, four of the poblanos, not all of them, just four, and then the onions and the jalapenos and the olive oil, and then we're going to add the chicken. Sí, aparte dos uh, chiles poblanos para hacerlo con la crema, pero lo demás puede tostarlo y dorarlo todo. Okay, so now let's make some cream sauce, chile poblano cream sauce. You're going to be able to use this in anything. Just combine all the ingredients and puree till it is super creamy. Sí, mezcla los todos en la licuadora y listo. Okay, so the cream sauce is looking great. So now take those keto tortillas, the ones that you probably learned how to make in our other video, fry them in the pan a little bit till they're just shy of golden so that they don't get too mushy whenever they go in the casserole. They're just going to taste a lot better if you just kind of toast them a bit in the oil. Y ahora es tiempo de dorar las tortillas. Hágalo unos 5 segundos en cada lado, ¿no? Para que se tuesten. Ok, this is a super simple recipe with a super easy finish. We're going to take the sauce and put a little bit in the bottom. Then put a layer of the filling. And then put some cheese and some sauce. And then you're going to repeat again. You're going to do more tortillas. You're going to do filling. You're going to do cream sauce then cheese because cheese goes on top last so that's the only rule here and if you don't have chicken you can do shrimp you could do ground beef you could do turkey you could do brisket whatever you want to put in there it's all going to be excellent Sí, póngalo en el horno por más o menos como 30 45 minutos yep about 30 minutes at 375 and then take the foil off and broil the cheese. Quite el aluminio, el papel aluminio para que se dore el queso. Ooh, would you look at this. Cheese and chili just makes me so happy. Sí, salió riquísimo esto. Hi, Mike. Hi, Lupita. So, what are you eating? I'm having pastel azteca. Mmm, it looks delicious. Okay, try it. Right. El queso para las quesadillas está mm. riquísimo, en serio. Eh? That's really good. Salió muy bueno. The tortillas hold together really sí. well. Sí, sí, sí. Las tortillas no se hicieron, no se deshicieron nada perfectamente, como como de verdad deben de, de ser, ¿no? Como tortillas. Mm. This would be good for like a, a holiday yeah. casserole. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Very good. Okay, cheers. Nos vemos. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, we hope you like my new favorite cake, Pastel Azteca. Sí, esperemos que les haya gustado. Y si les gustó, haga clic, apóyenos y suscríbase. Yep, like, share, and subscribe. Adiós. Saludos.